Hey everyone, it's Wellens, and welcome to season A Letter to the Future. This is a, as far as I can tell, a game about traveling the world, meeting people, recording down our experiences and memories, which I feel like ever since the pandemic started, I don't know about other people, but personally, I haven't gone traveling for three years at least. So I'm looking forward to get to do that a little bit, even if just virtually. Who are you? Who are you? I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. I come from a little village in the mountains. No one has left here since before I was born. But our lives changed overnight, just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. A vision that the elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad who always wanted to see the outside world, but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The elder had one condition for letting me go, that I take what I collect to the museum vault, a palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope that's where you're reading this now. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on Earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room, and I can hear my mom's voice. A letter to the future. Well, I can tell she's a great writer already. Let's see here. Past seasons, letter to the future, village in the mountains. Hot day's dream? The season is going to end. Dad, the museum vault. The morning I leave home. This is an index? Ah, I'm the person that's in the future right now reading the journal. It's already filled out. Entirely. So past, past seasons, a timeline, olden days, season of modernity, golden season, the war, season of something else? Hmm. Season of modernity, a season of industrialization, golden season, season of cultural exchange, war, the last of 10 years, season that I was born into. Right, and then this is exactly what the monologue was just now. This person, writing a journal, they don't know much about what happened to them before they were born. But from this point on forward, I imagine we'll get to know more about her life. What is the season that is about to end and why is it ending? That's a good question. Normally we would think of fall, summer, winter, but it sounds like that's not what this is going to be 
about. Let's see here. So it still says past season is concluded. Just trying to make sure I understand the controls here. Yep, I can't flip anymore. Letter to the future. Oh, these are just different... It's, um... Okay, I thought these were all its own headings. Ah, no, I'm beginning to fill out the journal now. I am the person. A plushie. Three... Two... One... Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Lotto's here. You sound enthusiastic. This is my home. My mom singing in the next room over. A catalog of strangers, fearsome tales for blase children. A catalog of strangers is an introduction to the more frightful aspects of this world. A reasonable amount of fear and fun mixed with prudent children. I thought we were in like a much more older era, but that toy, that plushie has electronic components. So I'm kind of not sure what era we're in right now. Or what season we're in, if you will. Is that incense on the side? My bag and dad's camera. Ready for the great departure. Departure. We're leaving. Prize ribbon. <laughs> Did you get this at school? Some festival. Wandering Tail Festival 817. Yeah, okay, 817 is the year. Or maybe this world operates on something else entirely. Not really 100% on that. Hope you like him more than you would have liked a fish. Pate. Origami. Folded by Pate. Feels very... The place feels lived in. There's lots of stuff just around the home. Sketch of Dad. Dad! Did you do it? You seem like you might be a good artist. I went out for a climb, be back this evening. XOXO. And we hung it up on the wall. Mom and Dad's portrait. Nightlife in the Plaza, 801. Old Bill. The owl spreads her wings over prosperity. Maybe this is a fictional location. This bill is worth 10 poems, the prismatic treasury. 10 poems? It sounds like this place is pretty art based. Insect husk. This household itself seems very artsy too. Drawing, writing, insect husks. <laughs> Is that it? Have we looked at this one? We have. Mom?
study the scene. The burner is on the table, ready to make a pendant. Mom is cooking sweet bark soup. She got out some old tapes. You're up. What are you doing standing there? Time to get going. It's gonna be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. Still gotta make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a shield to protect your body, an identity pendant protects your mind. Whole. Your thoughts, memories, everything that makes you, you. We don't wear them here in the village anymore, but if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shielding you. Shielding against what? Diseases of the mind, like the dream sickness. Where'd the dream sickness come from? We don't know what caused it. We heard people suddenly fell into an eternal sleep. These were years of wild rumors. And half of them turned out to be true. In times of war, a pendant can be used to identify a body. Oh, God. <sighs> Let's skip that part. Objects have two layers, the physical and the mental. The pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Three, feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it. What? It's supposed to be painless. At least. I could do it and lose the memories instead? No, you must remember everything. That's your role. I could tell you the memory after you lose it. The pendant needs this little sacrifice. I want to be sure it works. Don't be afraid. A few memories is a small price to pay for knowing you'll be safe. Oh, I don't know about that. Our whole journey of... I don't know, put, uh, putting everything down that we're seeing into a journal. That's making memories, right? But if we write it down and we lose it... Making this pendant means we'll lose memories. Oh. Okay, so... This old tape should work for our sense of sound. I remember. You and I fell asleep listening to this tape. Where that came from? We all rested together until it got dark. an odd feeling, like an absence disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in until I forget that I forgot anything at all. <sighs> now we forgot it. I'm glad I'm only losing a few memories. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. You should pick the rest of the objects. I'll lose the memories but you'll have them in the pendant forever. So they should be important to you. They should be parts of your identity you want to be sure to protect. But I'll lose them. So think about what these items and what the memories would preserve about you. Let's do smell next. Find an object with a strong odor and that holds a piece of you. Oh, interesting. There is a bit of a magical component to this. This pendant. 
candies. Sweet wax honey. How I've tried to save things. Melon honey. Flavor. Let's look around. Dried flowers. Ancient perfume. Sweet. Nothing is ever lost. The, the sound design and like the cinematography gives a very nostalgic tinge to everything. Even though, I mean, this is my first time seeing all these things, it feels like it belongs to my life. A spoon. Nothing. I used to see souls everywhere. Souls. Ginger drink. Childhood. Too sweet, too old. I always wanted to experience new things. Good for body aches, congestions, blocked nasal cavity, hot ears. Hot ears, upside down stomach disorder, flights of fancy, dorsal inflammation, spastic melancholia, loud dreams, pawn foot, wandering tingles, moonburn, birthdays. <laughs> birthdays? No guarantee applies. Nothing in life is guaranteed, really. Ooh. It's a little ominous. Even the way my mom is dressed gives me... Like, it feels like... What culture are we from? Granite. Seaside. Darkness. This speaks to how my mom loves me. Age 9. But it's not a smell thing. It's not really smell related. Honey, wax, baby, waves. I was loved by people I have no memory of. Ancestors. As long as I burn, may the moment last and last and last and last and last. So we're picking something that's important to us, but we're gonna forget it. Except we'll have it permanently inside the pendant, which is kind of a weird oxymoron. Faint, damp canyon. A friend gave me this a long time ago. Pate? Oh, now she has things to say about everything? Nothing. I collect stories. Nothing. I take care of fragile things. So nothing means it's not strong enough of a memory, and we probably shouldn't pick it for... The pendant, then? My bag and dad's camera. Ready for the great departure. Well, smell, probably not a photo. Nothing. I was born in the glow of my parents' love. But the photo itself doesn't mean too much. Because I wasn't born Nothing. yet. I remember who my dad was. Oh, he might not be around anymore. Well, I don't think we'll find more smell things here, but later for touch... Nothing. I look closely. Sour. Handshake. Sweat. I always had the intuition the world could change completely. <laughs> Probably not the kind of smell we want. Blue, acid, dust, pulp. How I always wanted to meet these strangers. Everyone who's ever touched a book that you own, especially if it's secondhand. Tangled nest, sour play. This speaks to how my dad loved me. Okay. For smell? Nothing. I always looked for other worlds. For smell? Let's... Let's go with one of the first things we saw, I think. Maybe the flower? Would that be a good one? Nice fragrant kind of smell. Or the candy. 
nothing is ever lost. How do you feel about the candy again? How I've tried to save things. You know what? Let's choose the candy. What did you choose for smell? The candy from the table. Let's breathe in deep. The lemony freshness. I remember. These were a present from your friend Pate. It was such a special gift that you wouldn't eat a single one. But after a while, the candy became as hard as rocks. The candy was meant to give one moment of sugary joy. And you realized, we talked about this, that by trying to save them, they lost their purpose. Kind of seems like what we're doing with a pendant. It might have been better to just enjoy them in the moment. Ooh, this is totally something I'm really bad at too. Stuff like stickers or one-use items, I always save them until the very end. And then it's like, well, I'm not even using them for their purpose anymore. Now touch. Pick something with the texture you like. Texture I like. Texture. What about the ceramic animal? That was also from my friend Pate. Oh, texture this one. My hand in my own hand. This speaks to how my mom loves me. Yeah, texture. My own hand. Why not? So what did you end up choosing? Hand imprint. Okay, put your hand in the hand. <laughs> oh, I remember it so well. It's not as bad now, but in the old days, not many children live long enough to grow up. We believed if a child could make it to the age of nine, they'd be all right. This print was made of your hand when you turned nine. Your father and I couldn't believe we really had a healthy girl. Is it common in this place for kids to get ill? An old deep fear inside of me finally went away. And we saw you would just keep growing and growing. That everything was going to be okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. Let's do sight next. Pick something that... that looks nice. Are you okay, Mom? Wait, cause that memory was... My mom remembered it too, does that mean that... Yeah, for the candies, that was a memory with my friend Pate, so she's not affected, but the handprint... She remembered it, so maybe she forgot it as well. I'm sorry, what... What sense did you just mention? Sight? Something I wanna... I like looking at? I like money. <laughs> A book! Worn cover. How I always wanted to meet these strangers. Reading a book. So, what did you end up choosing? My children's book. This book is supposed to make children afraid of the outside world. Every household has a copy. Hmm. But it had its purpose in the old days. What with the chaos and violence and confusion. But it didn't work on you. You were scared of the images. But as soon as you could talk, you had questions. Are they hungry? Did they get enough sleep? Soon enough, the creatures became familiar. You dreamed of meeting them. They became your friends. Another moment when I began to realize what kind of person you are. That you were born to step outside of our lives here. 
Every household has a copy. For taste, we can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. The sizzling of the fire. The memory I'll lose is the one we're forming right now. I want you to have it forever. Losing something temporarily and having it forever, but in a different form. We're standing here, you're having a last taste of home. Now you're protected by lost memories. A gem of home around your neck. This is my only condition for letting you go. You must promise me never to take the pendant off. Okay, Mom. And never tamper with it. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna worry her. Yes, of course. Okay? Then I'm okay with you leaving. I think your camera and bag are still in your room. It's time to gather them up. Very mystical so far. Yeah, let's go. I've lost so much. How could the world ask me to lose you too? I'm going on a journey. We'll be in each other's hearts. be right here on this beautiful morning. That was just the goodbye ritual. I just performed a ritual with my mom. The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. A final smile before I left home. The future will hear what I heard and see what I see. My mother's lost memories protect my mind from diseases of the outside world. Stuff I'm holding right now? Not many children live long enough to really grow up. When I reached nine, my parents were relieved. Right, children... This is an older era where children aren't guaranteed to become adults. Stories of strangers who became my friends. The candy was meant to give one moment of sugary joy. By trying to save them, they lost their purpose. Um, are we good? Oh, okay. They want me to put stuff on the page to decorate it. Like a personalized decoration. Put my mom's photo there. And I can continue to... Mm, this is a sketch. Oh, I'm not much of an artist. But I think with this kind of thing, it's the... It's the personal touch. That's what matters. I 
I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. I can rotate it. Yeah, you can tell I'm very artistically talented. <laughs> now it's full. I never knew when my mom would share a memory of dad while cooking on a walk with no warning. It knocked the wind out of me. Rituals take this grief and give it a shape and a story. Filling in this journal is a ritual too, but for a loss that hasn't hit us yet. New stamps and conclusion unlocked. Can I do it on another page? Position. Yeah, this doesn't really work with a rotation. <laughs> okay. Sure. Rituals take grief and give it a shape and a story. My mother's lost memories protect my mind from diseases of the outside world. Ah, the, the text, if we also want it on the journal, then we can put it down. And then additional... Oh, this is one of the cups we had back at home. Sure. Me and my mother. Two cups. There you go. <laughs> the previous pages were neater. Oh, I'm filling it in how I like it. This is terrible. Ugh. Maybe I'll make this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've brought tools to record the sights and sounds of this season. I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. Your home. That you've never left. Got a lot of pins on our bag. Dad's bag. Dad's camera. This was our home. It still is my home. Sleep music is a tradition of ours here. When the music ends, the village will begin to wake up. Her journal doesn't just consist of words and pictures. She's using all of her senses to record down everything she's seeing. Place enough keepsakes to unlock an inspiration. Yes. Put it here for now. Oh, can we play the song? Oh, wow. That's crazy. It wasn't that great of a clip, but... Still nice. The fountain. Sounds of the fountain. Last night, there was a goodbye party here in the plaza. Everyone was so afraid for me. To understand that fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Fumio. Do you mean the statue? I have filters. Oh. The filters, personally, I think it's the kind of thing that you can do in post, so the original picture... Well, I mean, I don't think we need to think about it like that, but... Oh, I can crouch down too. 
a snippet of my home. First photo, no filter. Oh, there's too much ground. That's fine. Caro Village. Lots of sounds and sights everywhere. Smells like an old man's toes dipped in cinnamon. <laughs> I had to drink this gross potion last night. Like my pendant, it's supposed to protect my brain. More audio recording. What instrument is this? I have no clue. This is a healing instrument created by Dr. Fumio. It draws on the pure mountain air. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on through our traditions. Hmm, we're sort of doing investigation here. Yes, the statue. There are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. Is it really early in the morning right now? Is that why everybody's out? Music and poetry tonight. This is the cafe where my dad used to read his poems. He wrote one for me. Maybe he wrote it for you too. Goodbye, Caro. Fish in the sky. Out of the pond. Pate's little daydream of leaving this place, of seeing something weird. Rip, Dr. Fumio. Dream sickness dreams on. Hmm. Dream sickness. Dr. Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. He wasn't able to cure it. Dr. Fumio never cured it. We learn more about the place just by being around. It looks like the things that we're scared about are... They're mental things. To do with dreams and the mind, protecting our brains. Carol Village is nice if you're a child or an old person. But for those of us in between, I need to leave. Have to go see the world. Nobody can stop you. I'm just wondering what time of day it is right now. Yeah, I guess the sun is just coming up. This is Dr. Fumio and his son. The statue isn't as old as it looks. The artist wore it down to give it a feeling of ancientness and the authority that comes with it. Dr. Fumio had a son. Pate loves fish, even though nobody here has ever seen one. I think I can probably update the Dr. Fumio page. I have a picture for this. And then murals celebrating his work. I mean, I did find a mural, but it was more like... Uh... Okay, it does count. This is how we learn more about the place. Interesting. Carol Village. Here's a nice photo. We're walking around. Here we go. We mark the day Dr. Fumio cured memory excess. Memory excess? We have too much? 
Remembering everything must be painful. Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. Oh, so losing memories might not be such a bad thing then, because sometimes we have memory excess. Oh. Do we not naturally forget things then? How does an excess happen? What is this? I wish I could tell you more about this poster. But I never thought to ask what it means. Now we'll both never know what it means. Oh well. They have specific dialogue commenting on random little objects. How about the stack of papers here? I'm curious. This is all targeted dialogue too. No. <laughs> That's too nondescript. Interesting though. Here's another mural. We mark the day Dr. Fumio cured time misperception disorder in memory of Augusta Kale. Oh, he cured a lot of things. Time misperception disorder. The elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was suffering from time misperception. But Augusta Kale didn't make it in time. So we should have, we should be able to get the full page now. Dr. Fumio. Dr. Fumio was an important person, but we also just have a need to put a human face on events that are beyond our control. He may have felt just as scared and helpless as everyone else. Hmm. New stamp and conclusions on law. Dr. Fumio made Caro into a safe place where people could come to be healed. Dr. Fumio had a mission that was so ambitious, his work is the basis of all our traditions. Hmm. Time. New decorations. Can we use these on other pages? That might not be appropriate. Is this a highlight or a divider? Maladies of the mind. Carol Village. Want another... Just sounds of... Ambience. And get inspiration for that. I meant to zoom in, but that's fine. <laughs> and then if you just do more stuff around the village, you can put stuff down. What is this weird fish? <laughs> there you go. A nice sunset. The village that was created as a place to heal. Is that where my instinct to try to help comes from? It's so strange to imagine I'll be shaped by places and people I haven't met yet. So strange to imagine that I might feel at home somewhere else. We've never left before, and it's just such a scary thing to think about. Haven't seen anybody so far, but it's it might be good, because if we see people, we'll have to say bye to them individually. There may be tears and all that. 
Why not leave that to yesterday? Today we're done. I go fishing here with my best friend Pate, even though there's nothing to catch. We both appreciate the silence. Pate is staying here as well? Nobody leaves this place. Not normally. You need special permission. Found at 710, Caro. Caro Village was founded during the modernity. Much later, Dr. Fumio arrived and remade it in his image. Remade it in his image? What does that mean? Is that okay? Picking a flower? This flower means you're in my thoughts. The morning after the search was called off for dad, our doorstep was covered in them. Oh, dad went missing somehow. Maybe related to the illnesses that this place has seen. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so unartistic, but I wanted to put the flower here. There you go. Sounds of the wind. Very relaxing. A bell? Or like water dropping? Water dripping into the thing. Do you think I can catch the moment the water comes down? That might be hard. <laughs> no. The architecture is kind of... Yeah, it seems kind of like outdated. But that plushie in the beginning, the electronic one... That was a bit different. Find a sacred square of earth. Lay down so you have the dirt at your back. Close your eyes. Close everything. Do you see for yourself? You see for the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. Your ancestors are in that dirt. All the living and all the dead are holding you up. Now stand. They're still there, aren't they? It's time to move to entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. So the next time you lay down in the dirt, you will have so much more to tell them. Who is the person in present day listening to this? I feel like we look similar enough that we might be like a relative, but maybe many, many years later. Who knows though? I don't even... I don't even know my name. Does it matter? What matters more might be the things that we're writing down, things that we're recording. The state of the place at one moment in time. It might get lost in the future, but at least I've tried my best to record it down in some way. What is this? Bikes? 
Pate fixed up three bikes instead of one. Pick another moment here. Look around first. Pate, my best friend. Oh, there's like a mini bike shop here. Is it Pate's? Could be. But nobody manning the place at all. So this place, the village might be pretty small and they don't expect stuff like theft to happen. Because it's a very small, tightly knit community and all that. Okay. Hmm. I'll take the yellow one. Yellow bike. Now we're picking up some speed. Oh, wow. What's really been stopping us from leaving? Just fear in general? Not like there's no physical barrier. Uh, becoming an outcast of the village? Something like that. So pretty, I don't want to break the mood. Can I park my bike somewhere? Yes. Ooh, do you really want to do that? Do it. Someone's letter that they left here. Dear Esdale, I'll be surprised if this letter reaches you. The war has become like a deranged sleeper, thrashing in bed, eyes closed tight. I've noticed how the soldiers strip people of their clothes first. A smaller degradation, which permits everything that follows. I wish I had loved you more completely when the world allowed it. Love, Odell. There's a war? Well, if it stays here, it's not gonna get delivered. They were right. The letter never made it. The season before this one, the war, seems so horrible. But it's past now. We've somehow arrived at something a bit more peaceful. Dear Cornelius, I thought it over and I have to tell you. The name you picked for your baby. It is terrible. Please do not go forward with it. I pray this letter reaches you in time. Yours, Dorino. <laughs> that poor baby. <laughs> Wonder if they ever made it. Kinda like the default look. In the village, these cranes look like little creatures, grazing. I had no idea how huge they are. 
They only look small from here. Wait, so this world, yeah, there's there's cranes. But not much. It doesn't feel very industrialized overall. At least the village that we came from. Just reading all the letters. Please get this letter to Dr. Fumio. I am suffering from memory excess, but cannot travel to the village for treatment. I was praying you could instruct me by mail how to cure myself of this disease. I am unable to forget. Now I realize how important it is to gain open space in the mind. Tell me what to do. Tell me how to forget. Please get this letter to Dr. Fumio. Before setting up in Cairo Village, Dr. Fumio roamed the land curing people. It must have been hard when he wasn't around anymore, especially for people who couldn't travel to the village. He's the only person who knows how to cure people? Imports and exports. Fabric, 5 rolls, herbal tea, 20 cans, roots, 10. Dried flowers, 1 box, seed, 1 bag. The trade routes are cut off. Caro is gonna feel even smaller now. Ooh. Traders used to come to the outskirts of the village. The war put an end to this. Hmm. So our village is a village where people come to if they want to get healed. But then the war to sort of cut us off from everything. The war is over now, but maybe people got used to just staying inside the village and not really going out. Oh, we can change the focus as well. That's cool. Sound of the birds. I wanted to use the audio recorder. I wish humans had evolved to sing instead of talk. <laughs> yeah, look, recording the bird sounds. Most of what I've seen from the outside world probably arrived in a cart like this. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, there's a- it's a train track, so originally there were trains here, and then these carts? That's how they transport stuff out? To other places? Oh, and this is some kind of a little hub here. Tiang Valley Postcard. Greetings from Tiang Valley. Hey, guess where I am? I hope you looked at this side first. <laughs> I had to pay my respects to the birthplace of Manjaz. There's a lot of tourists, but also a weird feeling to the place. It would take me more than a postcard to explain. Take care. Radiant City Apartments. Aldo. As an Islands postcard? Why not traipse around the As an Islands? I feel like I'm walking tipsy on the edge of the earth. We're skipping from island to island, the way a stone skips along the surface of the water, leaving little ripples. Like a kiss or two. Oh, I don't know. I just missed you today. And today. And today. XOXO, you know who. <laughs> yeah, like, that's how people usually write to other people, right? They have little inside jokes that we just don't understand. Caro. Don't bother trying to visit Carol Village. It simply isn't that kind that kind of location. Very picturesque. This village was very hard to find, but if you really need it somehow, you make your way there. I just wanted to let you know that I'm staying here for good. The season can only meet a violent end. It's too bright, too cheery. Conway. From Blissful Constellation. I can see in these letters that the outside world has extremes beauty and tragedy beyond anything I've known. Let's see here. We just stole everyone's postcards and all that. Hmm. Maybe like that. I wish humans had evolved to sing instead of talk. Sure. <laughs> And then we can put a bird picture, if we have one, which we- oh, we do. We do. 
It's a magical journal. We can even play music from it. <laughs> On demand. Carol Village one. And the rotating would probably give it much more of um artsy feel. I'll rotate this one too. Teeny little bit. The poor baby name. Sad baby names. <laughs> no, I'll make this one straighter. I feel nourished in these sights by the unfamiliarity of it all. These means of connection, long in disuse, are certainly telling me something about the world. Will they be used again in the next season? The next season. Seasons come and go. They don't really stick around. It's just the nature of things. Hmm. <laughs> the poor baby. Okay. This world seems way more interesting than it initially lets on. It's just judging by if you look at some screenshots and stuff, you're thinking, okay, well, it's pretty and there's nice landscapes and all. But we're seeing some very interesting things already. Memory excess, disorders, losing memories, placing them permanently inside pendants, the war, seasons bit of a magical vibe to it and very frankly this is not the kind of um, title where you're like okay I gotta go to this place and you know bang out all the objectives bang 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 go through it all very much a enjoy the journey not the destination kind of thing well the destination could be interesting too because someone we know that somebody is reading this in the future what's the world like then has it changed much since the last time we saw it it must have but in a good way in a bad way we don't really know yeah, really, really pretty. Relaxing. Do let me know what you thought about this game in the comments. And with that said, this was Season, A Letter to the Future with Wellens. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you all in another place in another time. Bye!